welcome back students in the second video we will talk about degree of polynomial so how do we find the degree of a polynomial the degree of a polynomial is the highest degree of the terms in the polynomials it means as you um, as i mentioned before a polynomial is consists of the monomials the monomial with the highest degree is the degree of the polynomial for example in here we have an example which is an example four find the degree of the polynomial in here we have a polynomial and we must find the degree of this polynomial so first we must see each monomial and the degree of these monomials and the first it is the first term it is the second term and it is the third term in the first term we have minus 3 x to the power of 2 y to the power of 5 so what will be the degree Yes, the degree is the sum of the powers of the variables. In here we have 2, and also in here we have 5. 2 plus 5 is 7. So the first monomial has 7 as a degree. For the second one, we have 6x, y, z to the power of 4. In here, power of x is 1, power of y is 1, power of z is for if we add it, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 4, uh, 4 is 6. The second monomial or the second term has 6 as a degree. And for the third term, we have 12. x to the power of 3, y to the power of 2, z to the power of 4. So if we add the powers 3 plus 2 plus 4, it will be 2, 2, 5, 5 plus 4 is 9. So as you see here, the highest degree in here is 9, and which is belong to the third term. So the degree of the polynomial, we can write the degree of the polynomial is equal to 9 because the highest degree in this polynomial is 9. So the degree of the polynomial in here is 9. For more examples, you can see your book. So some types of polynomials which are important in our book. If the degree of a polynomial is 1, then it is called a linear polynomial. A linear polynomial, every polynomial which has variable as 1 or the degree of the variable is 1. For example, 2x plus 1, as we can write here, 2x plus 1, for example. Or we can write 5x plus 2 and any other example in here power of x is 1 in here power of x is 1 every type of these uh, polynomials are called linear polynomials for the second note we have a polynomial of degree 2 is called a quadratic polynomial it is a special name for uh, polynomials which are in degree 2 for example if we have x square plus 2x plus 3 for example this is a polynomial and it is quadratic polynomial why because the highest degree or the degree of the polynomial is here Two, so we can write uh, other examples. For example, seven x to the power of two minus five x plus three, and etc. These are all called quadratic polynomials, which are in second degree. A polynomial of degree three is called a cubic polynomial. A cubic polynomial is a special name for polynomials which are in degree three. You can write examples like this in power of three. The next word which is constant polynomial. A constant polynomial is a polynomial in which the coefficient of all the variables are zero. And constant polynomial, all the coefficients are zero except what? Except the constant term. The constant term and constant polynomial is a number, but all the other coefficients are zero. We will see it in the example. And the last expression here we have zero polynomial, a zero polynomial is a polynomial or a constant polynomial in which the constant term is zero it means a constant polynomial which all the variables and all the coefficients are zero and the constant term is also zero and zero polynomial and the zero polynomial has no degree because all the coefficients are zero so we have no degree there okay see the example for the last two expressions we have two examples 
Example 5, find A and B if it is a constant polynomial. If this is a constant polynomial, we must find the values of A and B. As you see here, we have a quadratic polynomial, the degree is 2. So, if it is a constant polynomial, except the constant term, it is a constant term. All the variables must be 0. The variable, the coefficient of x squared is 0 and the coefficient of x is also 0. So we can write as 3a minus 12 equals 0. 3a is equal to what? We bring 12 to the other side, to the right side of the equation. 12 divide by 3. So as a result, we will have a for a's. 4 in here, you can see. If we simplify 1, 3, 4, 3 is 12, it will be 4. So the value of a is 4, we find. For finding the b, we must also see that the coefficient of x is 3 minus b. And 3 minus b must be 0 because it's a constant polynomial. So if we bring b to the other side, so it will be t equals b or b is equal to or b equals to 3. We found a as 4 and b as 3 in this polynomial. For the last example in this topic, we will have this example find b in the given zero polynomial. If this is a zero polynomial, find the value of b. We must find the value of b. As we mentioned before, a zero polynomial has no degree and all the coefficients with the constant term as zero. So easily, the coefficient of x to the power of five must be zero. The coefficient of x also must be zero. And the constant term is also equal to zero. 2n minus two is zero. 2n is equal to two. Divide both sides by two, n is equal to one. So we found the n as 1. And here we have also minus m plus 5 equals 0. Divide by minus or by negative sign, it will be m plus 5 equals 0. If we bring 5 to other side, it will be m equals as minus 5. Find the value of n and the value of m. By this way, we can find also the value of p here. m plus 2n plus p must be 0. We have the values of m as minus 5. And also we have the value of n as 1 plus p equals 0. So as the bit must rule, we must do the product. 2 times 1 is 2 plus p equals 0 minus 5 plus 2 is what of course minus 3 plus p equals 0 if you bring minus 3 to other side p will be equal to 3 so as a result the value of p is equal to 3 that's all for today thank you for your listening